Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and this is Growing on Vancouver Island. Today we are going to be doing some exciting seed starting. We're going to direct sow more sunflowers into the ground as well as sprinkling larkspur seeds in my rock garden. So in case you missed my first video on planting sunflowers for Ukraine, I suggest you go check it out. We have exciting developments in that department for updates. So now let me show you what we're going to plant. So here are the varieties of flowers we're going to be direct sowing today. We have an assorted mix of sunflowers from Mr. Frother Gills. We have Sunflower Golden Hedge from Mackenzie Seeds. For Larkspur, we have Giant Imperial from Pacific Northwest Seeds. And we also have Larkspur Imperial Strain Mix from the Ontario Seed Company. So these are all going to be direct sown in the garden. Let's get to sowing. Before we start sowing our seeds, I want to give you an exciting update on our previously sown sunflowers in the video planting sunflowers for Ukraine. We've got little baby sunflower sprouts. There's some here. Tiny little ones in here. And some more robust looking sprouts in this little container. So that is super exciting. Now I have one more thing to show you. Here is the exciting news along my back fence. We put some sunflowers directly in the gravel soil here. And we've got a few sprouts coming up. This is definitely the earliest I've ever been able to sow and grow sunflowers in the ground in the Pacific Northwest. We're zone 7 to 8. And I planted these about a month ago. Today is April the 7th or 8th today. <clears throat> so I'm really looking forward to some early sunflowers this year. So let's get to planting our seeds. So this bank is where I'm going to be planting some of the sunflowers today. I'm going to be planting some along this fence going up the hill. And through this mess of sticks, this is actually a giant a shrub called Cotton Easter that was massively pruned, even though it looks like a giant pile of sticks. We pruned it in the fall and there is still a little bit of green on it. Don't be thinking it's dead. This thing is a beast and I am quite confident it's going to come back and take over this whole bank again. But until it does, I was thinking it would be fun to put a whole bunch of random sunflowers in the middle. So even if this bush does come back in its most beastly manner that I expect it to, we'll have hopefully some sunflowers poking through and creating a nice pop of color in the middle of our bush. So let's get to planting.
So that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Have a lovely day.